Well, warm weather is here. It's going to be here for a while, and it means a lot more outdoor activity for y'all. Talking about playing sports, riding bikes, running. Well, making sure you're warmed up properly and approaching it physically is the best way to preventing an injury that could end up, you know, shutting you down for the whole summer. Joining me now to talk more about this is Dr. Robert Kipp from Pro Health Chiropractic to talk about what you need to know to prevent uh, injuries and the like. Looking very fit and well early this morning. Thanks you know why? Because your spine is healthy. That's absolutely That's right. That's the reason why. Uh, we're going to talk about it. You're going to join us in, in the uh, our next hour to, to sort of finish up here and talk about things that people normally associate with uh, with being prepared Correct. for outdoor sports, stretching and so. But right now we're going to talk about some things that maybe you don't think about so much. One of them being rest. Why yeah. is that important? Well, it's a great question, Jim. You know, when people actually go out and do their activities, whether it's bicycling, running, uh, baseball, football, whatever it is, you know, the little bit of muscle damage that they incur has to heal. And so the, the proper amounts of rest are crucial for that to happen every single night. So eight, seven to eight hours for an adult, eight to ten hours for an infant or all the way through teenage years. Nice if you can get it. It would be. A lot of people even who work out in the gym, it's, it's sort of a basic fact of building muscle is that the, the building and the, and the recovery takes place during the rest, not during the exercise. That's the healing phase. You're a runner yourself. Tell I us am. about, in fact, a, by way of example, personal example, what did you just do a little while ago uh, where you put some of these principles into effect? Oh, uh, we put together a team of 17 people that did the Tough Mudder up in Mount Snow. Uh, we, we raised $13,000 <laughs> for the Alzheimer's Association of Connecticut. We, and it was grueling, four plus hours of just up and down the mountains. Oh my gosh. So trust me, we all rested very well after that. And uh, hydrated well, I'm, I'm guessing too, because that's Absolutely. very important. Now we all know hydration is important for, you know, not passing out, you know, and just, right. you know, sort of sustaining yourself that way. But why is it important in the, in the big picture uh, for your exercise overall? Well, from a physiological standpoint, what most people don't realize is that your body knows inherently, innately that it needs to keep the moisture in the center, heart, lungs, intestines, because you know we can live without limbs. We can't live without anything in here. So it draws the, mu the water from the muscles, puts it right here, which ultimately causes some shrinking of those muscles out in the extremities, can end up with cramping, tightness, spasms, you know, certainly loss of mobility. So, so that hydration is super important to keep up. All right, so the first two things that we're going to keep in mind uh, for right now, rest and hydration. Rest and sleep, that can be iffy. Anybody can drink enough water. So keep that yes. in mind for sure. All right, stick around. Be here. Fantastic. For 